Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I'm Philip Magnus, and I am here to unpack packs and, well, that's basically it, actually. It is a new time for Hearthstone, a new time to enjoy a new expansion. It is the newest expansion during the uh, new Hearthstone year, which is the year of the mammoth. Why is it the year of the mammoth? Don't ask me, I have no clue whatsoever. But here we've got the clock, and ta-da! The cards that you can see, you can use in standard change each year. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hello. Oh my. So, so amazing. Only basic classic and the last two years of cards can be used, that's all well and good. Except for, you know, the fact that they are now removing classic cards as well. The following sets are now wild. Yeah. All my well spent monies on those. Ah, yeah. Hall of Fame. How lovely. These are the three unlucky few. Oh, three more. Of course, power overwhelming because who needs it? And of course, they gave us some dust to sweeten the sour taste in our mouths. Which is, you know, perfect. Special quest, win 10 games in standard, play mode to win Maya of Shadow Song, the new rogue hero, I suppose. You have no standard decks, go create one. No, I will go open packs and I've got 57 of those. I'm so excited, let's see what I will get. It's a little animation, the deafness that comes from it, a hydrologist. Discovered a secret. Cool. Now I can play a Paladin secret deck. Because that's what I have always wanted. Taunt. A 9 mana creature 6 10. It's a common, so nothing too fancy. A Tar Creeper. Another taunt. This is a taunt heavy unpacking, apparently. Oh, a third taunt. Why the hell not? 7 mana, 1 attack, 11 health, and has plus 4 attack during your opponent's turn. That's, that's unpleasant and buff worthy. And the first rare card for this expansion is Tolvir Stin Shaper. If you played an elemental last turn, gain Taunt and Divine Shield. I really like this mechanic. You play something last turn and then you can really well synergize with it later down the line. Next turn down the line, really. Okay, one down, 56 to go. As so I get repeating cards. This will get to be faster. Oh, my first golden! It is a golden common! Oh, God. Tertolan Shell Razor. Taunt, Death Rattle, give random friendly minion plus one plus one. Cool Death Rattle card for Priest Death Rattle. Eggnapper. Summon two one one Raptors. And the Stonehill Defender. Taunt, Battle Cry, discover a taunt minion. Lost in the Jungle, another Paladin card, which, once again, continues a long-standing tradition of having strange cards that summon multiple Silver Hand recruits. And our first Elemental, Glacial Shard. A tiny version of the Ice Elemental from the classic expansion pack. Uh, you know, the classic game, because it was not an expansion pack. Oops, what am I speaking? No idea! Okay, that's... Oh, my first Legendary. Another egg napper. Useless. Well, not useless. Probably useful in death rattle. Adapt a friendly minion. Ah, once again. A cool buff card for Paladin. Another Talord. A servant of Kalimus. If you played an elemental last turn, discover an elemental. I'm so looking forward to making an elemental deck. Let's see what the legendary is. Oh, the last Kaleidosaur. Quest, cast six spells on your minions. Reward Galvadon. And that is, I believe, my first quest. It is a Paladin quest, I suppose. Alright, cool. So, Paladins are bound to be buff heavy this expansion. Ravenous Pterod Pterod Dax. Destroy a friendly minion to adapt twice. Cool. That's cool. A seven gastropod. Gastropod. Taunt and poisonous. 
and very, very nasty. Air Elemental can be targeted by spells or hero powers. Well, that's nice. I mean, sure, it's nice. Harm, an Elder Long Neck, our first druid card. Battle Cry, if you hold your minion with five or more attacked, attack, adapt. Useful, quite useful, especially if you're playing a high-end, high-cost druid deck. A friend of mine is writing to me, but I am going to selfishly ignore him in order to, you know, continue this. Discover a minion that costs eight or more summon it. Huh. Cool. That's cool. That is also kind of random, but the game is all about randomness. Cool, cool, cool. I like me some RNG. Let's see. Two rares, a jeweled macaw. Add a random beast to your hand. Yet another add a random beast to your hand. Map, uh, map. What card? Oh, sorry, I just woke up. This is the first thing I'm doing today. A third tar lord. How exciting! Oh, a saber tooth stalker, and it is stealthy. So I'm going to need. Lots to remove it. I could see this synergize well in a Druid Beast deck, honestly. Quite useful. And it's a heavy damage output creature, so only way to deal with it is AoE. And that's difficult. Not all decks have AoE all of the time. Can't attack! Alright, that is going straight into my Priest Silence deck. A Light Feast. Stedagon. Adapt your silver hand recruits. Okay, that's interesting. That synergizes well with that one cost card I drew earlier. Alright, 51 to go. This is going to take a while, isn't it? But as I open more and more cards that I've already had, I bet that we will get past them faster. Two cruel dynamances at once? Cool, 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 cool. Death Rattle, summon a random minion you discarded this game. Oh, that's awesome. That's definitely going into my discarded Warlock deck. And I do notice that these things are getting... I mean, the discard deck of the Warlock is getting special attention this time around, and I'm really excited. I've always liked the idea, but it has never gained much traction, if you ask me. Torn, Battle Cry, restore 3 health. And Battle Cry, if you played an elemental last turn, adapt. Again, that nice synergy going. Let's see, anything rare? Only one card. A Grievous by deal 2 damage to a minion and 1 damage to adjacent ones. That's cool. That's cool. Whoa, that's big. That's big and scary. And I love the art. This more animated, cutesy art. I like, I like how it mashes with the expansion. A Fire Plume Phoenix. Battle Cry, deal 2 3 damage and 3 3 for 4. Not a bad card. Certainly good when you go face. Adaption, once again. And Shell Shifter. Choose one, transform into a 5 3 with stealth or a 3 5 with taunt. And if you go strangle, f blah blah blah, you get both, which is really nice. Let's see then. Oh, my first epic card. Funny that I haven't gotten epic yet, but I already got one legendary. Another Fire Plume Phoenix. Firefly! Other one, two, elemental to your hand. I wonder if uh, an elemental mage is viable without Phoenix le legendary. Probably not, but I might as well try it. Give a friendly Murloc plus one, plus one. Oh, the Murloc threat is returning. Feeding time, deal 3 damage to a minion, so 3 1 1 Pterodaxis. Cool. Let's see what my epic is. It's a row card and it's a combo card. Gain plus 1 plus 1 for each other card you've played this turn. So this is very much like the first rogue legendary. Interesting, interesting. Let's get on with it then. Oh! Awesome! A Jungle Giants! Quest summon 5 minions with 5 or more attack. Reward 
Barnabas, and it's a Druid card. Excellent. A Binding Heal. Restore 5 health to a minion and your hero. Oh, this is a really nice deck. I mean, this is a really nice card pack. A Steam Surger. A Mage Guard Battle Cry. If you played an Elemental last turn, add a Flame Geyser to your hand. I like it. I do like it. I have no idea what a Flame Geyser is, but I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. A Blaze Caller. All you played, if you played an Elemental last turn, deal five damage. Again, with that nice synergy and Iron Hide, gain five armor. Uh, whatever. I have never liked Warriors and Defense Warriors, or rather Armor Warriors. I have liked worst of all. Tar Creeper again. Glacial Shot. Razor Petal Lasher. Add a Razor Petal to your hand that deals one damage. And a Ravazor Runt. See, again with the cutesy drawings. Battle Cry. If you control at least two other minions, adapt. This is going to go into my Paladin Tiny Minions deck. Steam Surger again. I still don't know what a Flame Geyser is. I'm looking forward to finding out. Let's see. Oh, another epic card. A Crackling Rasm. More with some more cutesy art. Adapt a friendly beast. Cool. This stacks with the whole beast dynamic that Hunter seems to have going for it in every single expansion ever. Terra Scale Stalker. Trigger a friendly minion's death rattle. Cool. I can see several useful applications with this. Emerald Hive Queen. Your minions cost two more. Cool, cool, cool. That that I actually really like. No, why do I like it? Yeah, actually, it works with the Hunter, I suppose. It's going to get killed soon enough. A Secret Hunter especially, I think. Because I can put that in for some early game strength, and then I can pile on the secrets. Verdant Longneck. Battle Cry Adapt. And Rockpool Hunter. Give a friend... Yeah, we already got through these two. Giant Wasp, however, is something I haven't seen so far. Stealth and Poisoners. Oh, that's nice. And painful. Dolvir Warden. Draw two one-cursed minions from your deck. Alright. That doesn't quite cost as much as I think. Actually, yeah. I mean, we've got uh, several four cost three five creatures, so I suppose it it should cost as much. Whatever. Hunter is hardly the creature I play the most. Razor Petal Volley. Add two Razor Petals to your hand. That deal one damage. Cool. Igneous Elemental. Add two, one, two Elementals to your hand. Add a one or two mana. Probably one mana. Each one. Firefly. Cool. Mimic Bot, draw a card, another copy of it to your hand. So that's a lot like a really cheap Thistle Cup. Thistle Tea, pardon. Oh, cool, cool, cool. A Stedagon. Nice. I mean, not necessarily useful, but it looks nice. To a Tolan Forager, a random minion with two or more attack to your hand. Go like a crawler, destroy a pirate and gain 1-1. One, one. That's something I love because I hate pirate warriors. Stampede, each time you play a beast this turn, add a random beast to your hand. I really just want to unlock the mage quest. That'll be great, please. Okay, thanks. Ultrazor. A hot spring guardian. A glacial shot. And a Tolvia Warden. I think the only one we hadn't seen until now was the Guardian, but Elder Longneck. If you're holding him in. Nope, so that already. Ooh. Elise the Trailblazer. Shuffle a shield and go pack into your deck. Alright, that's cool. I don't quite remember what the mechanics were. Did you get like. Five extra cards once you unlocked the Ungur pack. I think that was it. 
Ah, Prime of Intotem. At the end of your turn, summon a 1 1 Murloc. Cool. Alright, so far we've got. What? Three legendaries? A Vals Pine Slayer. Ouch! Destroy a minion. Yeah, sneaky sneaky, just like all interesting road cards. Corrupting Mist, a Warlock card that corrupts every minion, destroy them at the start of your next turn. That is... interesting. Corruption is not my favourite effect in the game, because it takes just a little bit too long to, you know, take effect. Oh, a Golden Rare! A Fireplume Harbinger, reduce the cost of elementals in your hand by 1-1, one, one. that's useful! Especially if you've got a bunch of really low cost elementals and you play that at like third, fourth turn. Mana Bind. When your opponent casts a spell, add a copy to your hand that costs zero. That's a cool secret. Nice addition to my secret mage deck. Alright, 38 to go. We're a third of the way in. And we get uh, one of those. We already have one of those, but golden. We have get a demon! A Lakari Fellhound. Battle Cry, discard two random cards. A steep price indeed, but I did say I wanted to play a discard deck, so I might as well start here. Cool, cool, cool. We've already seen all the rest. Alright, Light for you, Stedigan. Adapt your Silver Hand recruits, we saw that already. Let's pick this up a bit. Two rares, Flame Geyser, deal two damage, add a one, two elemental to your hand, useful. And we've seen the rest. A Vine Cleaver, Paladin Weapon, a new Paladin Weapon, I'm always interested in those. After your hero attack, summon two 1-1 one, one Silver Hand recruits. That's cool. And it has plenty of attack, and it has 3 durability. True, it costs 7 mana, but there is worse, definitely. Nesting Rock, if you control at least two other minions, gain Taunt. Cool, cool, cool. I like controlling minions, and I like gaining taunts as well. Alright, we've seen... Oh, a Crystalline Oracle. Copy a card from your opponent's deck, and add it to your hand. Cool. We continue in the priestly tradition of fucking everything up for everyone. Except for the priests. Two more Fireflies. Oh, the dust I'll get from that. Evolving Spores, adapt your minions, cool. Oh, an epic card, Stormwatcher, never seen that before. A Pterodax Hatchling, never seen that before. And a Radiant Elemental, have I seen that before? Probably not. Whoa, all new cards, cool. Devil Zor Egg, destroy uh, Death Rattle Summon a 5 5 Devil Zor. That's awesome. I'm definitely using that. Bright-eyed scout. Oh, how the light is going to die in her eyes soon enough. Draw a card, change its cost to five. Huh. That could be either really nice or really crappy. It's one of those really weird epic effects that no one is quite certain will see use, but in anything other than, for example, a super um, mana-heavy legendary deck or something. Let's see. A raptor Hashling. Shuffle a 4-3 Raptor into your deck. That's awesome. Jeweled Macaw. We saw that. And Ornery Diahorn is something I haven't seen. It adapts. Cool. Let's see. Volcanozor. Oh, I got... I got the golden one from logging in yesterday. Cool. Two rares, a Humongous Razor Leaf and a Shell Shifter. Anything I haven't seen before? Nope. 
This is where the expansion starts getting dull, because you already unlocked the vast majority of commons. Let's see, a curious glimmer route. Look at three cards, guess which one started in your opponent's deck to get a copy of it. Whoa, that's, <laughs> that's a really interesting effect. I like it, I like it. It's purely a game of chance and, well, maybe just thinking really hard. If your opponent has some particular deck, which is not going to be easy, especially at the beginning. Let's see. A volcano, deal 15 damage randomly split among all minions, Overlord 2. I saw that card being played and it horrified me. Oops. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Cool. Another mage card. Unfortunately, not as many mage cards as I want, as a mage who has over 500 victories. I really like the mages. A tar lurker. Torn has plus three attack during your opponent's turn. Another elemental, this time in the Warlock deck. Interesting, curious. But I don't know. Oh, two rares. A Stonehill Defender, Torn Buffer Cry, Discover a Torn Minion. And it's oh that's that's actually pretty useful, especially if you don't have many Torns in your deck. You take this one and you end up with another. Cool. Battle cry. If you played an elemental last turn, discover an elemental. Cool. This could be particularly useful if you are fishing for Tyrion. A rare, a mana bind. Another one. Cool. Goes into the deck of secrets. No legendary for me, I see. Oh well. Have all of those. Come on, lads, give me something. Oh, cool. Yes! Exactly what I was hoping for. Time warp. I have no idea what it is, but I will find out soon enough. This is so cool! The card I was hoping for the most. I'm looking forward to understanding what Time Warp is and whether it summons Crommy to the game from Heroes of the Storm. Shadow Visions! Discover a copy of a spell in your deck! Cool and useful. I think. And cheap, above all else. Shimmering Tempest. Add a random mage spell to your hand. Oh, I'm definitely playing with this one. I just love the random mage hand cards. Oh my! Two epics, a primordial glyph. Discover a spell, reduce its cost by two. Oh, this is like a really awesome version of that portal thing they had for Naxxramas, but instead of minions, it gives you the opportunity to pick a spell. I love it! Blazecaller. If you played an elemental last turn, deal 5 damage. I just want one more, actually two more legendaries in the next 17 decks. I know that's greedy, and I probably will end up without even a single one, but the guy can hope, right? Oh, a sated Threshodon. Is that how you read it? No idea. Death Rattle Summon 311 Mur. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. Costs. Obsidian Shard Rogue costs one less for each card you've played from another class. Oh, I love. I l absolutely adore rogues who play by stealing the cards from other classes. It's the most useless battle against another rogue, but hey. Let's see. Arc Analogist. Draw a secret from your deck. I love this. Definitely going into my secret deck. Let's see then. Oh, another corrupting mist. This time golden. Servant of Kalimos. I like it. So far, so good. Oh, two epics once again. Ho ho ho. 
This is really, really, really nice. A giant wasp. A golden one. A boring one. A stampede. Each time you play a beast, they stir another random beast to your hand. Oh, this is awesome. Giant anaconda. Summon a minion from your hand with five or more attack. Again, they are doubling down on the Druid Beastmaster. I really like that. I've never had many beasts to play that particular deck, but with this, these new cards, I'm definitely considering it. A Paladin, give a minion plus two, plus six, and taunt. When it dies, summon a Stelagon. Alright, that is probably one of the most serious buffs I have seen. Paladin wise, it is ridiculous. In a tidal surge, deal 4 damage to a minion, restore 4 health to your hero. And it doesn't even come with overload. Which is, in itself, one hell of a surprise. Oh, another rare. Excellent. Another Devil's or Egg, and another Bite Wheat. Cool! But of these I like. Oh me oh my! Blood Bloom. The next spell you cast, you cast this turn, costs health instead of mana. Cool, cool, cool. That's awesome. I like, I like. I don't like this one, but hey. It's only because it's not giving me anything new other than this Frozen Crusher. After this minion attacks, freeze it. Well, <laughs> that is anti-intuitive. Let's see then. What will we get from this one? Nothing good by the size of it, by the look of it. Humongous! Oh well. Boys, it's feeding time! Again. I think this is like the third one I've got. Golden Rare. Cruel Dynamancer. Cool. I mean, I have like four of those already, but... And three of those. Well, hey, that shouldn't stop anyone. Come on, at least one more legendary. That's all I'm asking for, game. Corrupting Mists, nope. Rare, feeding time. Yay, another one. Come on, just three more to go. Give me a legendary. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Not here, obviously, but... Let's see, Hallucination, that's, that's a new card. Discover a card from your opponent's class. Cool. I think. Yeah, definitely. Definitely cool. Glaka Crawler. Destroy a pirate and gain plus one, plus one. We already saw that, unfortunately. Come on, Daddy needs his rare. And he got his rare. Why did I say that I needed the rare? I have no idea. Each turn this is in your hand, transform it into a new weapon. That's interesting. And this is where it ends. No legendary for me. But hey, at least I get another epic. And it is one I already had. But hey, that was what you get from opening 57 packs. Now we can turn them into dust. 810 dust. I now have 5,000 dust. More than I have ever had. Well, that's insane. Let's see legendary. Crafting. A Tyranitus can be targeted by spells or hero powers. Really late game, but really nice as well. Super difficult to stop. Swamp King Dread. After your opponent plays a minion and attack it. Nah, Pyrus. This is interesting if you're abound on the whole elemental mage idea. The last Kaleidosaur. And Torn Battle Cry set all other minions attacks. Attack and Hell to 3. Lira the Sun Shard. Whenever you cast a spell, add a random priest spell to your hand. 
All right. Shelazine corpse flower. Go, go dormant. Play four cards in a turn to revive this minion. Interesting. This can be pretty, pretty annoying to stop, I think. Kalimos Primal Lord. If you played an elemental last turn, cast an elemental invocation. No idea what that is, but hey. Clutch Mother Zavas. Whenever you discard this, give it plus two, plus two, and return it to your hand. King Mosh. Another beast. And hey, only five of these. Let's see. Spirit Singer Umbra. After you summon a minion, trigger its death rattle effect. After you cast a spell on this minion, summon a 1-1 one, one plant and cast another copy on it. Not very interesting. Hemet Jungle Hunter. Huh, destroy all cards in your deck that cost 3 or less. Wow. Wow? Huh. Osric, Taunt, Battle Cry, gain plus 5 health for each elemental you played last turn. That's nice. You know, I am considering... Hmm... Kind of making a quest, maybe? Maybe Pyrus. I'm curious to go with the whole elemental thing. Actually, you know what? If anyone has seen this video, if anyone cares, I'll let you decide. What elemental should I craft? Pardon, what legendary should I craft? You can leave a comment below and let me know. Anyway, thank you for watching. I am looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye!